Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Apa King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. First off, I would like to congratulate 2K for actually doing something for the community by trying to bring back crew mode for NBA 2K14. Now there's been a long two years without crew. There's been a lot of people that I've lost touch with, people that I don't even text no more, we don't talk no more, all because of crew. Now, back in NBA 2K10 and NBA 2K11, you couldn't tell me nothing about me and my homies. We played every day all day. We got wins. We was climbing the leaderboards. We was even, what, top 75 to 100 at one point. That's how crazy it was. Like, it was, it was a fight to get to that number one spot. But, hey, there were always those cheesers out there with those seven, six point guards and stuff like that. So, you know, sometimes you couldn't get to the top of the list. Now, that's one big reason why my crew was taken out of NBA 2K's series. Now, in the last two years, NBA 2K12, NBA 2K13, there was no my crew. There was not even a hint of my crew. And in NBA 2K13, they introduced a new mode called My Team, which took everyone by surprise, but surprisingly, it did very well. But this year, it's all about crews. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit something about crews. I guess you can say that they're trying to bring my crew back, but until I see 5v5 in an arena, I can't sign off on it. But what I can do is tell you guys what I saw at the NBA 2K14 team up. Now, from what I've saw, crew mode is back in NBA 2K14, and this is why. They have an online mode which consists of 3v3 with a ranking leaderboard system. Now, in this stripped down version of Cruise, we saw only 3v3 blacktop, which looked exactly like NBA 2K13. It had the exact commentary from NBA 2K13. It had the exact same blacktop courts as NBA 2K13. So, when I first saw it, and they, and they announced that it was Cruise, while I was inside the lobby, I was like, oh my god. It's back, bro. Like, me and K-Spade looking at each other like, we don't want to scream. We was about to be like some little girls in there. But as soon as the match started, me and K-Spade, we was like across from each other in a room. We were on the same team. It was me, QJB, and K-Spade going up against the guys downstairs that were taking their interviews. But as we're playing, as we're getting these wins, me and Spade looking over at each other like, bro, this is Blacktop. Like, we, we talking on the mic like, yo, I, I'm not feeling this. He like, I'm not feeling it neither. Now, it was one thing that a couple people said from the video that was released today that when we were taking our interviews, me, Q, and Spade, it had a, a, a team record of 0-5. Just to let you guys know, me, K. Spade, and QJB gave out those five losses. That's the reason why it had zero and five on it because when we recorded it, we had to come back downstairs to record ours because we was upstairs giving out ass weapons. Oops, sorry, I didn't know I couldn't say that, but hey, hey, you know what it is. But uh, <laughs> the next thing I want to tell you guys is you can create a team name, an abbreviation, a logo with custom colors, just like how it was in NBA 2K11, but there is a but. Since this was a 3v3 blacktop mode, I wasn't able to create a custom jersey. I wasn't able to put my custom logo on any type of, you know, attire, wear, accessories, anything. What I could do was go to the 2K store, buy an outfit, and wear it on a blacktop. That was all that I can do. Now, let me give you guys a little bit more of the crew manager features that you can do. You can invite five players to your crew, which means it'll be a total of six guys in the 3v3. Now, I'm not sure what it'll be in the 5v5 scenario, but in the 3v3 scenario, you can only have six total players. Now, since it's called crews, the crew manager has to either stay in the crew or leave the crew. You can't push off the duties to, to another player and then leave the crew and then get invited back. Now, even though it was a stripped down version, like I'm telling you guys, I did not see that. So hopefully it will be in NBA 2K14, a full done game. Hopefully it'll be there because I know a lot of people that create crews and, you know, some of their friends aren't online. It might be one guy and then he'll pass off the duties to him. And then when he come, he'll say, hey, yo, invite me back and stuff like that. Now, since you can wear anything in a black top mode, 
I really couldn't call it crew. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't call it my crew. I guess that's why they revamped it and gave it the new name Cruise. Now, let me tell you guys a little bit about my experience with playing Cruise. Now, since this was a blacktop scenario, the first thing that I've noticed when we played was that there was a stamina bar that was moving. Literally, every time you press that RT, you had to clock your stamina. So when you're out there on a the blacktop, for you people that like playing blacktop, hey, there is now stamina. For you guys out there that needed blocks, I mean, wanted blocks so badly, you can now block in blacktop or on cruise blacktop. The next thing, loose ball situations have been tweaked. There's more going on. Guys are diving better. The passing off the ground feels better. You know, it's not that you grab the ball, then you try to pass it, and it look and it feels like you guys in quicksand on the ground, and then somebody just pick it off. No, it's not like that. It's a little bit better. Now, let me give you guys my thoughts on what I want from 5v5. I need either exactly how NBA 2K11 was for 5v5 or a little upgrade in the features. From NBA 2K11. Now, if you guys can't do that for me, I don't even know if I can condone this because it's not gonna have that my crew feel. Now, yes, I know you guys gave it a new name and it's called Cruise, but I need it to feel like my crew. It's that simple. Now, I don't know too much about you know the 5v5 if it's gonna be in an arena, if it's gonna be only on a blacktop, but what I can tell you guys is. If it is not in the arena, if it's only on the blacktop and it's full court, I'm still not going to be feeling it. But what I can say is that 2K will be stepping in the right direction if they make it, you know, bare bones, 5, 5v5 on a blacktop full court with calls. If they make it like that, if they make it bare bones like that for this, then I can simply say, you know what, they're moving in the right direction to fully get it back. Because, of course, you know, some of these modes take perfection to do. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot going on over at 2K. And hopefully, you know, they can get things going on. Now, uh, the last thing that I want to say to you guys is a lot of people saw the footage and they said that it said only for current gen. Now, this is what I can say about that. When we were playing it, we all wanted to play next gen. We all wanted to touch a PS4 controller, an Xbox One controller. We wanted so dearly to, but we weren't able to even look at any next gen footage. But you know me, I always ask these, you know, ballsy questions. I don't care. I, I hold my balls when I ask questions. I say, yo, first of all, you already know this 3v3 blacktop nonsense ain't, ain't gonna fly with the, with the community. I already, already knew that from hands down. That's why LD2K and them, they came out and they, they worked and fought for 5v5. Now, the next thing I said is, what do you guys have planned for next gen? Since you guys have time to actually even fix anything that is wrong with crews or any mode in current gen, what are you guys going to do for next gen? Now, this is what Ronnie2k and LD2k did. They both looked at me and they both smirked now i'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight on this when i talk to ld2k and i talk to ronnie2k about 2k it's simply about you know the one-on-one -on -one situations nothing leaves the room none of that but those guys are very secretive and tricky so if they both look at me with a smirk on their face because i say what you guys got planned for next gen you guys better believe that they got something up their sleeve. So if it says currently only for current gen or whatever, just take that in stride, guys. Believe me, just take it in stride. Don't don't dig too deep into that. Don't get, you know, twirled all up into that. Don't even worry about it. If it's for current gen, it's for current gen currently. You know, the game comes out October 1st. We don't know when the next gen game comes out. You feel me? So just wait on that. You know what I'm saying? But this is IKC signing out. I've taken up enough of your time. I'm trying to keep my videos under 10 minutes like QJB told me. Audience retention, baby, holla at me. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.